This is the Holiday Inn Express Saton in Bangkok. My flight from Tokyo, Japan arrived here in Bangkok, Thailand just a few minutes ago and I'm now in the taxi on the way to my hotel. The problem is that it is 7 o'clock in the morning and check-in is only at 2 o'clock. I'm tired, what do I do? Fortunately, I booked myself a day use room, which means I can check in now at 7 o'clock already. I can go to my hotel, check in, freshen up, have a nap if I want, and be ready for my meeting at 1 o'clock today. So, obviously I'm not in a taxi, and I live here in Bangkok. But this is the scenario I'm sketching for you. It is so convenient to use a company like Daydream Hub and book yourself a room for day use at a hotel. You can use all of the facilities, have a comfortable stay, you can either use it for transit, you can use it for maybe a vacation or something like that too. I've just arrived at the hotel now and it's quite festive here, it's uh, almost December, so it's all lit up with Christmas lights and things. I am in room 612 which is a standard room. It is definitely not a large room but the room is very clean, neat and quite functional. I have a lovely big bed and I honestly cannot wait to come and have a nap. In my room I have some drinking water and I also have coffee which is something I really need right now. There's even a work desk with a light and a really comfortable chair where I can sit and catch up with some work too. This room is big enough for me to move around. There's even space for my luggage. I don't feel like I'm cramped here. So there's enough space in here. And like I said, it's very clean, very neat. If it's not clear by now, I am not sleeping here tonight. This is just a day use. I checked in around seven-ish this morning and I need to check out by four o'clock in the afternoon. I am paying 1,500 Thai baht to use this room during the day. Whereas the regular room rate for overnight stay, I think was about two and a half thousand Thai baht. I actually have a good reason for staying here today. Earlier this month, when I was traveling in Vietnam, I dropped my Samsung Fold and it's been acting up. So today I'm gonna go to the Samsung service center, which is less than a 10 minute walk from this hotel. So I figured, well, I'm gonna have to drop it off and probably go and pick it up again later. I don't want to make two trips all the way here from my condo. So I will just beat the traffic, arrive here early, check in, go to Samsung, drop my phone off, come back here, rest, maybe do some work, maybe walk around the area and explore a bit. And then later go pick up my phone, check out and go back to the condo. I'm quite impressed with the service here so far. The ladies at the front desk were super helpful and friendly and chicken was very, very fast. Even the security guard, when I arrived, pointed me to the parking spot. He was very helpful too. The hotel is truly centrally located. There's a lot to see and do in this immediate facility. Plus, it's really easy to move around to other parts of Bangkok because you have the BTS SkyTrain right down the road from the hotel. The hotel has a fitness center, which is 24 hours. You don't even have that in many luxury hotels. They also have a laundry facility, which is also 24 hours. Right outside the hotel, there is a coffee club with some really great food. A popular thing to do here in Bangkok is to go up to the Mahanakon Skywalk which is this really, really tall building and there's a glass walkway on the very top floor. You can actually just barely see it sticking out over there. You see that person lying up there on the glass platform? That could be you. And you can very easily do it because that's the Mahana Conde behind me and right over here is the hotel. <laughs> it's literally just down the road. But that's not all. You can also buy tickets here at the hotel to go up to the Mahana Conde. Usually the tickets cost you over a thousand baht, but you can buy tickets right here for 750 Thai baht. That's a saving of more than 25% to go up there. The hotel has breakfast for 300 Thai baht per person. They don't do lunch, 
and they don't do dinner. But that's not a problem. There is so much food around here in this area. Practically across the road from the hotel is this market. And there's so much food here. <laughs> there's so many things to choose from. And then there is this place. <laughs> no, I'm not in France. <laughs> this is still Bangkok. This is Brioche from Heaven, a wonderful French bakery. Oh my goodness, they have the most delicious things here. I'm going to show you a couple of those now. Everything here looks so good. Oh my goodness. I have here a coffee milkshake. There's a truffle croissant and a Brioche from Heaven, which I think is a signature dish here. This is a really great location for a hotel. There's so much to see around here, plus also food. There's a lot of that. And with the proximity of the SkyTrain and many taxis around here, you can really go anywhere else in Bangkok very easily. Whether you go to the Grand Palace or to Wat Arun or to one of the other famous landmarks, it's easy from here. Within walking distance, you have the Mahana Kon, the skyscraper with the glass floor. Uh, just up the road is the Lumpini Park, a beautiful park. From there you can take the park walkway which connects you to another park, Benjikiti Park, also a beautiful park. Plus of course there's the nightlife. So about 10 minutes from here is Patpong. Very very vibrant area at night time, very popular with those seeking uh, more excitement nightlife wise. Uh, daytime, there's plenty of marketplaces around here to buy food. Of course, there's also the central shopping district where there are literally like five or six shopping malls in the same area within walking distance from each other. In fact, they are kind of like all connected. And you basically have to take the sky train from here and I think it's just one stop further and then you're there in the middle of all of that. I did a review of all of those shopping malls too and I'll post a link up here for you. As for this whole daydreamhub.com day usage, I think it's great. I'm really surprised by how easy it was to book it and how easy the whole check-in procedure was today too. Um, I can see so many purposes for this. I myself really enjoy having a me day every now and again. And I can guarantee you, the next time I use daydreamhub.com is going to be for a me day. I'll choose a hotel with a nice swimming pool where I can just chill the whole day, just relax. Finally, the moment I have been waiting for, having a hot shower and jumping into this wonderful bed. This mattress is very soft, these pillows are really fluffy, it's going to be a good nap. Good night.